What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Eat With Coral Blush. I told you today I'm going to try out this bad boy. It's a street food sauces, mixture of sauces in there. What I've done with those, I've just done some normal breaded chicken strips, chicken tenders, and they're just normal breaded and these ones are hot and spicy. Chicken tenders, chicken strips, whatever you want to call them. I had this in my fridge ready, so I've just remelted it. It's the lovely Cajun butter sauce, so it's a bit like the Bay Love sauce. Got some ranch dressing here. I've got some bread to the side here because I want to put some chicken in some bread and dunk it in that sauce because I didn't have no buns left, but oh, the bread just soaks up all that sauce. It's lovely. So I've got bread here, and my drink is, what do you think? Coca-Cola. Cheers. In my lovely cup. <laughs> Right, so let's we'll open this box here, eh? see what we we'll get inside of this. Oops. So that's all the little bottles there. Plenty to taste. Without further ado, let's get in. Right, so this little one here is Diablo Wing Sauce. See what this one's like, eh? Oh, they're not going to be awkward to get into. Oh, they just twist, thank God. Oh. Oh, they don't have to break the seal. I should have pre-opened these. There you go. Oh, it smells a bit uh, smoky, this one. I'm hoping these chickens have cooled down. I'm just going to start with a normal breaded one. So that one's Diablo wing sauce. Ready? Cheers. Mm-hmm. Feel the heat instantly on that one. Quite tangy as well. Woohoo! Hope my mouth's gonna, not going to be burning off. That one's hot but nice. Not too hot, but you can feel the heat straight away. Next one. I just want to get these out the way and then I can dry my chicken. And this sauce is what I've come for. This one is... Hot and spicy barbecue sauce. <clears throat> Should be just like a pulley leaf, I think, for these. There you go. It smells very similar to the one I've just ate, like. But here goes. What did, what's this hot and spicy barbecue? Ready? Mmm. Mmm. Another one of them. Not one bit hot, but the barbecue sauce is lovely. That one's also delicious. Put that one there. Next one. Is God knows how you pronounce this, so excuse me if I'm being stupid. Taquira Mexican style hot sauce. Is that how you pronounce that one? Taquira. I'm not the brainiest of people, so don't judge. Let's top off. So I just see his head popping around the corner when he wants a drink. <laughs> they have having like chicken kebab skewers and some Mexican rice. Should try some of this hot sauce on them, Ken. Right then, uh, I'll go in with a hot and spicy one this time. Oh, it's quite runny, that one. It smells nice. Mm. 
Not much of a taste. I can taste the chicken more. Not one bit hot. Not unless it's one of them that creep up. Four more to go. Ready? Oh, this one's a funny colour. Dragon's breath, flip her neck. Green hot sauce. Dragon's breath. Oh, you're lucky than it can. <laughs> With me, dragon's breath. <laughs> right. Smells nice. Bit like a, like a jellyfied one. Mm. Definitely tastes like jalapenos, that one. Lovely, it's quite tangy. Nice. Oh, just bent your fingernail back. Oh, hate it when that happens, when it bends right back. Right, this one is... Hickory smoked flavoured barbecue sauce. Hickory smoked. When I hear hickory, it always reminds us of um, hickory honey ham of um, what's that filling? Cranks, Christmas for the Cranks. It's good that movie. She goes crazy trying to buy some hickory honey ham for our daughter coming home. Cheers. First one I'm not that bothered about. I feel like it's got like a um, cleaning solution taste. <laughs> Something you'd use in your kitchen to clean. My nose is uh, running a bit. This one, second last one is Louisiana style wing sauce. These hot sauces are nice, Ellis. Mm -hmm. I've tried them ones. I'm just trying them now. Um, I'll go with a plain one again. Mm. Tastes like apricotty. Nice fruity, definitely a fruity one. Nice that. Definitely like an apricot taste. Nice these little sauces like. Last one guys. This is just original barbecue sauce. Try that one. Last one. What should it maybe give it a shake? Oh, yeah, why is it not coming out? Yeah. Have to bang it out. Mmm. Now it's special, I've had better, better barbecue sauces than that. McDonald's barbecue sauce is better than that. Right, oh, I'm dying to get into this. Right, I'm going to go in with some, um, oh sorry, I've got to hear my mouth. Just got some harvest bread. Get some out of there. Right. Desperate to, um, what ones will I put in? Well, I put the normal breaded or the hot and spicy. I think I'll go with the hot and spicy. I'm not buttering it because this is obviously just butter by itself. So there, I'll put some in bread there. I'm going to fold it over. Nice soft bread it is. Ready for the dunk? <laughs> yummy yum. Get in there. 
Ready. Looks lovely when um, Nate and B love make the chicken sandwiches. Like in buns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm. Got to get some napkins. I need to get some napkins. Two seconds. Right. <clears throat> I think. Um, remember when I made like the rip off DIY Popeyes chicken sandwich with the bale of sauce. But then we're in a brioche bun. Where well, the brioche bun's quite a sweet. But I think in normal bread like this, you can feel it's going to like, I don't know, like be too thick almost. Mm. Tastes lovely, but you know when it's going to knock you sick if you eat too much. Mm -hmm. Take that chicken out, it is too much with normal bread. <laughs> Let's try some chicken by itself. Yum, yum. Mm. Oh, lovely chicken. Are <coughs> mm -hmm. you okay? I was going to do this the next day and I'm going to post it as soon as I'm done but I'm going to go and quickly edit it and post it tonight since he's waited like a long time for over the Christmas today we've got all the decorations down <clears throat> all the Christmas tree all the decorations off the windows everywhere down back up in the loft um Ready for the new year. Went in the garden, tidied the garden up a little bit, and um, we've got the hot tub emptying at the minute. We've put the hose on, it's just emptying. So tomorrow we'll give it a quick clean and fill it up ready for new year. Because last year we like packed it all away for over the winter and put it in my shed. Pardon me. <clears throat> and I was gutted on um, New Year's Eve. I thought, oh, we should have, once we brought it in the new year, I was down and I just go out on the hot tub or even beforehand, like just have a little party in the hot tub, just like us, the family in here. So I said this year, I'm definitely leaving the hot tub out because you can leave them out. It has to like reach, like it's minus four before like it will freeze and like probably bust the tubes, but it never really gets to minus four here. So we've left it out and it's, like I say, it's empty in now. So tomorrow we're going to go and <coughs> we've obviously sweeped up all the deck and then... Um, it was starting to get a little bit dark because it's like mid-afternoon when we're doing it. So I see if we'll just get the thick up today, get the hose on it to empty it. And then tomorrow we're going to uh, power jet all the deck in and um, refill it with nice hot water. So it'll be ready to go into with hot water. So here's the normal chicken with a bit ranch. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think which one was the ones I liked. I like the Diablo. Well, I like them all, but I'm trying to think what my favourite was. Um, yeah, I definitely like that. I think that one's probably my favourite. Louisiana style wing sauce. Have some more of this one. I think this was the apricot kind of flavour. I didn't have the apricot, but it's definitely some kind of fruit in the colour. Looks like apricot. Mm. If I wasn't so blind, I could maybe read that, but I can't. <laughs>
And I like that one. The Dragon's Breath. Just because it's like jalapeno, like a um, tangy jalapeno. Very nice. See it? <laughs> Let us know in the comments what you guys are up to over the new year. I like hearing about yous as much as yous like watching me and hearing about me. <clears throat> Let us know if yous have parties, if yous go out or see family or anything. What do yous get up to? Mm. We don't usually go out um, New Year's Eve, we just stay in our own house. Have a little celebration, a few drinks and that, and I make like a picky tea. Um, I'll record some of it. I mean, that's if it's exciting. <laughs> um, but I've got a, like a load of like frozen party food in the freezer. I think I'll just cook all that off and make that. Tomorrow, actually, we're going to take uh, it's Christmas Eve, to, uh, New Year's Eve tomorrow. We're going to take the kids up to Smith's Toy Store to spend. They've got like money and vouchers to spend, so we're going to. Let them choose whatever they want in the toy store and then we're going to go and get a bite to eat. Pardon me, in the local egg family pub. And then I need to nip to the shops and just get a little few odds and ends. And then that's it, let the celebrations commence for New Year's Eve. But yeah, we just usually stay in. Um, we used to go out on a New Year's Day. Because New Year's Day is better, I think, for just for a chilled afternoon drink with my friends, but... Don't know what to, no one's arranged nothing this year. Don't know what's happening. We might just end up staying in. Don't know. Who's to know? <clears throat> no one's invited and we no one's invited we're anywhere yet. One of that. Lovely these. I just love this sauce, you know. Not that you just didn't know. <laughs> Where's my drink? Did anyone see Yummy Bites do her, um, was like spaghetti and cheese, like a burrito wrap kind of thing? Oh, I thought it was beautiful and I've still got a little bit of that chilli, what i done yesterday, in the fridge. So I'm going to get some wraps tomorrow and I'm definitely going to make that. Add loads more cheese in so it all melts back in and then like um, put it on like the hob <clears throat> in a pan so it like browns. <gasps> Look lovely, sounded lush as well. What a good idea, like a... Um, like a chilli spaghetti style burrito. Oh, look lovely. So that'll use up that um, <clears throat> chilli spaghetti what's in the fridge. Oh God, Stafford. Stuff, stuff, Stafford. A little bit bread and ranch, we'll know what that tastes like. Mm -mm. Nice. I had some um, garlic bread left off yesterday. I was just going to re like heat it in the oven so it went crispy again, but I forgot. Oh, I'm done. And here's the naughty one. 
got the snooker table out, what we've got the boys for Christmas. <clears throat> so we're going to have a few games of little snooker. Hiya. Are you going to play snooker? <laughs> they just push the queue all around the table till one goes in the hole. <laughs> so we're going to go and play some snooker, have a bit of family time. And that's it, I'm done. Hope you like that little McBang. And I will see you again soon. I'll try and if we're doing something fun, I'll record a little vlog for you tomorrow for New Year's Eve. See if we're going to the hot tub. Say Happy New Year. Hope you all have a lovely time, whatever you do. Stay safe. Don't get into trouble. Don't drink too much. Don't be like me. <laughs> Have a super duper New Year's Eve and all the best at every single one years for the new year. 2020, I think it's going to be Coral Blushes year. Do you reckon, guys? Hopefully, fingers crossed. Thank you to everyone that subscribed to my channel. I love you all. See you later. Bye. Wow, you're good. Careful. <laughs> Yay, done it. I told you to make your box. Oh, yay. I'm such a winner. You're such a winner, are you? Whoa, Nelly. Be careful. that one going. Watch it don't fall because it'll slip. <laughs> Ready? Oh. oh, it's back over there. Oh. Oh, God. Yay! Oh, my God. Last one. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs>